Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. Thank you. How are you tonight? How are you? Very, very good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Welcome everybody to your class number 16. We are starting today the unit four. Yeah, unit four. This unit is one of those that maybe for Salvadoran people, it's not so easy because maybe we don't have the concepts because our city is not ordered. Our city it lacks of order. Carece de orden nuestras ciudades, ¿verdad? Y, entonces, por eso tal vez el tema que vamos a comenzar es un poco, mm, tal vez, no es difícil. Lo que sí podríamos decir que se complica un poquito porque tenemos que pensarlo eh, de acuerdo a nuestro contexto primero y después lo pensamos en otros contextos, pero... La unidad 4, unit 4, is about addresses and places. Okay, addresses and places. And the addresses will talk about locations and directions. How to get to a place, where a place is located. So we are studying how to express questions to request information about the place's location. And also, we will learn how to answer or give that information to someone who asks for that information. These questions need, mm, I mean, these questions and answer, answers need that you know some vocabulary, specific vocabulary. So we want to start by places in the city, okay? Places in the city. We want to learn some words, names of places in the city. We want to see this in a context. Queremos ver esto en un contexto. El contexto siempre es de where do you work, okay? Pero también es where do you live. Um, también puede ser where is the drugstore located, okay? Locations. Y si se fijan, todas las preguntas que dije van con una, una palabra de WH. ¿Cuál era? A ver. What was that WH word I mentioned for the three questions? What? Eh, nope. No. <laughs> no. Where. Yes. It is where. Where? Yes, where. That's to talk about places, locations, and addresses. How to give or ask for directions, okay? Directions, addresses, places, locations. All right, but this is in the city. Okay, this is in the city. Maybe you will think about the places in your house to answer the same question, where? Okay, so allow me to introduce the class officially and then we are going to call the roll. And um, <clears throat> I 
I need you guys to make a list of the places around your house. The places around your house, okay? So this is unit four, and the objective, just one moment. The objective, Okay, here we go. Okay, here we are. The objective is to give and request for information. Okay, give and request information in a very polite manner, okay? In a very polite manner, using the question word, where, okay? So our unit four uh, name is addresses and places. Look, addresses and places. Addresses is the exact place. Okay, the exact place where any pl any public uh, office or any public establishment is located. Okay, I'm just to look for one word that I need to give you. Nomenclature. Okay, the nomenclature. I forgot the pronunciation of this word. Nomenclature is the um, the street, the divisions, right, or the exact location. Mm, for example, in a map, maybe we can find out the location, but we need the name of the street, the name of the avenue, the main of the city. Uh, maybe we need the number of the house, right? We need the number of the house. That's an address, a physical address, a site address. And the places, places like, a ver, do you remember any place in the city? Who knows places in the city? For example, for example, school, it's a place. Uh huh? Another place? Park, yes, park. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? Iglesia. Church, yes, church. Mm -hmm. Correct. And there are a lot of places in the city. But maybe right now you don't remember the words, but we are going to study them, okay? So the topic for today in our video conference number 16 is prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Because we are talking about locations and places, right? We need to... Um, answer these questions where do you work where do you live okay so we need some vocabulary we will start by the prepositions of place prepositions of place and in the prepositions of place we have in on and at okay in on and at those are also, or they function as a preposition of time, too. We can use these prepositions with time. But now we, we, we learn the usage, the usage 
four location of places. So our agenda. We want to remember the structure, right? With the to be verb, with the WH question, the present simple with the WH question word, like where do you, where is, and what is there, okay? Then we'll learn how to use in, on, at, like the list of objects and places that go, go with each one. Then in the breakup room, we have an online worksheet. So the objective, who wants to read the objective? Can you read the objective, Jacqueline, please? Um, participants will be able to ident identify and use preposition of place. Very good, participants. Okay, so it means you, okay? You will be able to identify and use prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Okay. So. To start a class. Okay, do you remember the tongue twister? Do you remember the tongue twister? Ha, uh -huh. I want to listen to you guys. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. A ver, vamos a ver. Jacqueline. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hi. Ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Okay, Alma. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, Carlos Edgardo. We scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, vamos a ver, Fernando Enrique. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Mm -hmm. Gabriela, please. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Good. Isabel. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, Alejandro. Well, I don't know if you're available, Alejandro. Okay. Uh huh. Stephanie. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, I think you did it kind of better. Uh -huh, because this is the situation. Look, cuando pronunciamos una palabra que comienza con la letra S, with the letter S, we don't say S, okay? Like this. No, this is not correct. Okay, this is not correct. We will use S like this. Yeah, so ice cream. Este suena exactamente igual que esto. Miren, ice cream, ice cream. Okay, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Uh, okay, everybody, please open your microphones. And it doesn't matter, it, it sounds like the central market, market. but please. 
Okay, now three times, three times in a row, okay? Three times in a row. <clears throat> One, two, three. Ice cream, we are the cream for ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, we are cream for ice cream. Ice cream, we are cream for ice cream. Okay, ahora con una sonrisa en la boca, vamos a ver, en your lips, smile. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, okay? One, two, three. Ice cream, juice cream, we are cream for ice cream. Okay, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Aha, uh -huh. everybody. Ice cream, we are cream for ice cream. Aha, now it sounds better. Ahora lo más rápido, faster, the fastest that you, you can. Ice cream, you scream, you all scream for ice cream. Everybody, ice cream, you scream, you all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. Everybody, hey, come on. Ice cream, you scream, we are scream for ice cream. Ice cream, we are scream for ice cream. I feel like you were like this, right? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> About your tongue, oh my goodness, okay. Well, actually, this is just a star, okay? This is just a star. I see you guys, um, that you're smiling now. So, we're going to call the roll, okay? We're going to call the roll. So, please, everybody, think about a place in the city, okay? Think about a place in the city when you hear your name you tell me a place in the city okay vocabulary word okay are you ready remember to turn your camera on everybody and when i call your name you say present and then you give me one vocabulary word of a place in a city or in the city okay today is tuesday right tuesday the 18th all right alma y amilet hernandez de vasquez Present is here. Gonna place it. Gonna place. Place in the city is a uh, hospital. Again, can you repeat that? No, me escucho. No, I couldn't. Okay. Uh, place in the city is a uh, hospital. Oh, okay. There you are. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very good word. Aha, Carlos Eduardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher, the place in the city is the church. Again? The place in the city is the church. The church, okay, good. Carlos Francisco Alfaro de León. Débora Yamilet Campos Cortés. Fernando Enrique, okay, please, Débora. Yes, a place in the city. Okay, no problem, it's okay, Débora. Uh, Fernando Enrique Martinez Masin. Place in the city. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to understand what was the place. Can you repeat? Um, place in the city is Agape. 
Mm. Agape, oh, the, the business, I mean, the foundation. Mm -hmm. Agape, Agape, the name of this foundation? Understand. I know, don't. Uh -huh. What is Agape? Uh, organization. Okay, it's a foundation. Okay, foundation. Una fundación, right? Foundation. Okay, thank you. Well, actually, you could say a foundation, right? An organization. Okay, good. Organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Gabriela Elise Hernández Cruz. Present. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, no escuché la indicación. A place in the city. Un lugar cercano, no. No, one place in the city, around your house or your work. Uh, are, uh, I play in the city, uh, the park. Okay, the park, very good. Mm -hmm. Jacqueline Lisset Martinez de Vasquez. Present teacher. Uh, Place in this in the city is a uh, gym. Very good. Mm -hmm. The gym. Jose Antonio Campos Rivas. Marcos Alejandro Coreas Reales. Maria Isabel Rivas Guevara. No he entendido muy bien. A place in the city, any place that you know. I place in the city a work for Puerto Alberta. Oh, okay. The seashore. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Mirna Beatriz Aviles Iraeta. Saul Alvarez Pacheco. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Present teacher. Okay. In the city is a airport. Very airport. good. Great. Uh -huh. Veronica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Present teacher. The place in the city is a school. School. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, people, so let's continue with this because we want to do our feedback and remember the question words. Remember the question words? Actually, we can use the question words to express um, different requisitions. Okay, it's not only for places, but for places we use where. Where, okay? Where, that's the word. That's the word to ask questions about places and locations. Where? One of the questions we know is where do you work? Do you remember how to answer that question? Do you remember how to answer, where do you work? Where do you work? Well, we have to answer with a subject, a verb, and a complement, right? From this word that is a preposition, okay, starts the complement. Okay, where do you work? I work in a hospital, okay? I work at St. George Hospital. I work in the pediatric care unit. I work for 
St. George Medical Care Foundation. I work with kids and medical equipment. Okay, so not all of them are prepositions of place, right? Okay, then. For example, the first one. The first one we have here is in, right? In. In means inside. Enclosure. Enclosure. Okay? In. In. Y otra que se le parece es inside. Okay? Inside. It could be also in. Okay? I put something in. Yeah? In. So, if I say I work in a hospital, it's a, an enclosure place. Okay? Enclosure place. At. It's an exact location. It's the location as a place. Not as the organization, but as a place. Okay? As a place. So, we use at to express the exact place or location. Mm -hmm. In the is more specific because it's in this organization, okay? This is in an organization, but this is something in the hospital, right? But it's a division, it's a department, it's a unit, okay? Then it's inside the hospital, right? It's a, an internal part of something. So we say in the, in the pediatric care unit, pediatric care unit. Okay, so these are some of the prepositions of place we're going to study right now. Okay, we have in, at. Now we will look for the other ones, okay? So, remember the question. We have our question, okay, with a WH word question, where? Auxiliary verb, do. The subject is you, singular, okay? Only one person, but it is you. Work, the verb, the verb. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay? And remember, if you are writing, then you need your question mark. Okay, I will clear all drawings. Now we know that. learn some vocabulary. Vamos a aprender algunas palabras. Probablemente ustedes ya las conocen. Probably you know these words. So I will show you the image and you will think, what place is that? So you are going to tell me the name of the place. These are common names, not, not proper names. Okay, not proper names. Okay, 
This is the first one. So I will show you the picture. What do you see in this picture? What do you see in this picture? Mm -hmm. Teacher, maybe New York. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. The Fifth Avenue, it seems like, right? It seems like the Fifth Avenue. But, well, actually, it might be any city, right? It might be any city. What we want to know is the, the things that you see here. Okay? Vocabulary. What are these? What is these? And what is these? Okay? I will give you the first one. What do you see in this picture? I see buildings, okay? Buildings, tall buildings. One building, two buildings, three buildings, four buildings, five buildings, four, uh, five, uh, five, six buildings, seven. Uh, see, is there any other here? Maybe there is a little one. But if you see, we've got some tall buildings around in these street, okay? in these street it might be an avenue too avenue okay but there is a bus stop here do you see the bus do you see the bus okay i think this is a bus stop all right this is a bus stop maybe there is a traffic light somewhere in the street tal vez hay algún semáforo verdad traffic light but at this moment buildings street Bus stop. Buildings, street, and bus stop. Okay, I want to listen to you guys. Buildings. Buildings. Mm -hmm. Buildings. Street. Street. Bus stop. Bus stop. Uh huh. Only one letter S. Bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue then. Okay. What do you see in this picture? It's a bridge. It's a bridge. Bridge. Okay. And what is this? A river, yes. The bridge goes across the river. Across the river, right? The bridge and the people, I mean, drive along the bridge. But the bridge goes across the river. Okay, let's see some other places. What do you see in this picture? A monument. A monument. Yes, a monument. What other name can we call these monuments? What other name can we call it? Statue. Statue. Okay. It's a monument or a statue. Statue. Mm -hmm. I want to hear you guys. Monument, statue. Es como que dijeran con CH, statue. Yeah. Statue. Uh -huh. Like, chu, the same sound, statue. Okay? Statue. Uh -huh. It's a statue. No tengan miedo, quiero oírlos. Quiero oírlos. Creo que tienen miedo de decirlo así. Statue. Statue. Yes, statue. Sin miedo. Statue. Yes. Great. Monument, statue. Monument, Monument statue. statue. Very good. Mm -hmm. Let's continue then. What do you see in this picture? It's a church. It's a church. Yes, it's a, it, this is a church. But for the Catholic religion or the Catholic, this is called cathedral. 
it is a church. It is a church. But it's called the cathedral. Cathedral. Saquen la lengua para decir cathedral. 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 Uh -huh. Esta no es una T, es como la Z de zapato española, zapato, cathedral, cathedral and church, well, because this is a church, cathedral, church, cathedral, church, everybody. Cathedral Church. Ahora en una velocidad normal. Cathedral Church. Cathedral Church. Ok. So, let's continue. Park. Look. The one in front of the cathedral is a park. 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 Mm -hmm. park. Oh, what do you see in this picture? What do you see in this picture? Market. Oh, yes. You see the market? The vegetable market, right? Vegetable market and other products, right? Uh huh. And other products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like consuming products, right? Consuming products. What else do you see? Well, we say downtown. Downtown. Mm -hmm. downtown. Downtown. This is a word to say downtown. el centro, okay? Downtown. Um, downtown. Um, Mm -hmm. El centro, downtown. Así, downtown. 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 Yes, down, downtown. Downtown. And we see a market here, right? We see a market. Yes, people in the street selling products, vegetable products, consumer products. So, yes. Okay, so now let's look another one. Mm -hmm. What do you see in this picture? Mall. Mall. Exactly. Uh -huh. How do we call a place where we go to do the shopping or to uh, or the place that we're, I mean, that we visit for going shopping? Shopping mall. Okay. Shopping mall. Yeah. Shopping mall. Mm -hmm. Shopping mall. What place is this? Do you know this place? Have you ever been here? Have you, have you ever been there? ¿Les parece conocido? Yes, it is. Galerías. Very good. Uh -huh. All right. Continue. <gasps> what place is this? Supermarket. All right, it's a supermarket. Yes, supermarket. How many supermarkets do we have in El Salvador? Mm, can you mention some supermarkets? Walmart. Walmart, yes, Walmart. What other? Super Selectos, Super yes, it's a supermarket. What other is a supermarket in El Salvador? Yes, uh -huh. I thought you were going to say la despensa, because we say despensa, but it is despensa, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay, yes, Price this is Price Smart, yes, Price Smart, mm -hmm. Price Smart. Y eso es bien interesante, miren, y ahorita voy a aprovechar para decírselos acá. Lo que digo yo siempre, el sonido de la S que termina una palabra y el sonido de la S que inicia otra palabra se unen en, una sol, en un solo sonido de S, ¿ok? Price Smart, miren. Estos dos prácticamente lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces solo pronunciamos una letra S acá, miren. Así. Ajá. 
price smart. No decimos price smart, smart, ¿verdad? Decimos price, price smart. smart. Es lo mismo. Siempre que encuentren una palabra que termine en S y la otra comienza en S, solo hagan un sonido de S. Eso les va a ayudar a hacerlo más fluido y más entendible, ¿ok? Bien, vamos a ver. Let's continue. Clear all the wings and continue. So this is the supermarket. Remember, supermarket, supermarket. Supermarket. Mm -hmm. Supermarket. At the end, right? Supermarket. I think this is the last one if I'm not wrong. No. Okay, what do you see in this picture? Restaurant. Yes, it's a restaurant. Do you know this restaurant? What restaurant is this? What what is what restaurant is it? Mm. Do you know it? Yes, it is. Okay, there you are. Ah, uh -huh, nice. Okay, another one. Everybody ready? Aha! Uh -huh. Delicious. Oh, my favorite place in the city. Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. What place is this? Diner. Diner, okay. Comedor, diner, very good. Uh huh. What else can you see? What are they they preparing? What are they making? <laughs> pupusas, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and Salvadoran pupusas, right? Pupusas. All right. So let's see. Local food restaurant. Local food restaurant. Okay, local food restaurant. Maybe they sell uh, yeah. sopa de gallina too, right? Maybe they sell tamales. That's local food. Pupusas, local food. Okay, there is no other name exactly. We could call it pupuseria too. Okay, pupuseria is the same uh, word because this is a local word. Okay, this is a local word. Mm. I found a different, a, let's say, name, okay? I found a, a different name for pupuseria. And they say selling shop, selling shop of stuffed tortillas. <laughs> This is describing the place, okay? The, uh, a selling shop of stuffed tortillas. ¿Qué es una pupusa? What is a pupusa? Cuando usted le describe a alguien, mira, voy, que es una pupusa. A ver, explíquenme, explain. ¿Y qué es una pupusa? Ajá. Uh -huh. El shop of stuffed tortillas. Ajá, pero la pupusa en sí... ¿Cómo le decimos? Vaya, digámoslo en español, pues vaya, para que no nos perdamos al principio, ¿ok? Es una tortilla rellena de... Exactly, exactly, ajá. Es una tortilla, vos mirá y así me la rellenan con queso, con frijoles, con chicharrón. Ok, that thing we say stuffed tortillas, ¿ok? Como decir tortilla rellena, ¿verdad? Stuffed. Tortilla is tortilla rellena, okay? So, if you want to describe someone who uh, doesn't know what a pupusa is, then you can tell them, it's a tortilla, but it is stuffed, okay? Stuffed, okay? Stuffed tortillas. Stuffed tortillas. Stuffed tortillas. So, selling shop... Selling es venta, ¿verdad? And shop es una tienda, ¿ok? Es donde venden las tortillas. ¿ya? Aquí no le estamos diciendo el nombre al lugar. Estamos describing the place, ¿ok? We are describing the place. Aquí no estamos diciendo el nombre, ¿verdad? Pero memorícenlo porque así para decirle a, a alguien que no conoce y se lo, se lo describe usted en inglés, le dice, a pupusería is a selling shop of stuffed tortillas. A ver, what is a pupusería, guys? What is a pupusería? Uh -huh. 
It is a selling shop of stuffed tortillas. Okay. What are they stuffed of? Yeah. Uh, rice. Yeah. Rice dough. Ese se llama masa. Okay. Rice dough. Masa de arroz. Okay. Rice dough. Corn. Like this. Dough. 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 Mm -hmm. Corn dough. And then we have the stuff, right? This, the, yeah. The stuff is what you put into the tortilla, right? Like the pupusa. So we have cheese. What else? Beans. Huh? Pork skin. Yeah. Pork skin chicharrón. Yeah. Pork skin. What's your favorite kind of pupusa? ¿Cuál es su pupusa favorita? What's your favorite kind of pupusa? Crazy stuffed tortillas. Okay. okay. Nice. Of rice. Made of rice. Very good. Uh -huh. Cheese, beans, pork skin. Chicken. Spinach. Chicken. Chicken. Oh, it sounds delicious. Yes, chicken. Uh -huh. I like those of shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah, camarones. Shrimp. shrimp. Jalapeño, <laughs> como se dice? Oh, jalapeño, like that. Jalapeño. Yeah, jalapeño. Yay. Garlic. Yeah, you're hungry. I know that you're hungry. <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. Okay. Garlic. Mmm, delicious. Okay, then. What is a pupuseria? It's a place, okay, or it's a selling shop of stuffed tortillas. All right. There you are. Vamos a ver, then. Okay. Next. What do you see? Cool. My new school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. No, but this is a school, okay? School. Yeah. My new school program, right? School. School. Like this. Este no es school ni es school. Okay? Este es school. Okay, school. Next. Oh, this is another one. Oh, gosh. Look. Aha, uh -huh. what place are, what places are these? Bambang, do you know Bambang? Do you know La Tecleña? Bakery. Bakery. Yes, we don't sound the letter E. Bakery. 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 Okay. Bakery. Mm -hmm. Bakery. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bakery. Next one. What do you see in this picture? Uh -huh. Stadium. Stadium. Okay. Stadium. 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 Yes. Stadium. Stadium. Yes. What's the name of this place? Michael Gonzalez. Yes, that one is correct. Okay, then we want to know these uh, three prepositions of place. At is a specific point. Okay, at is when we want to point a place. In is when we want to talk about in, an enclosed space. It's enclosed space when we use in when we use on uh, when we talk about a surface 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 means a 
phase of something that it is above, right? Or right covering something. Yeah, that's a surface, surface, superficie, surface, okay? So let's look at the usage. These prepositions of place are made like expressions, okay? We need to understand something. It's the same as in the prepositions of time. No hay una forma así exacta de decir, ¿verdad? Bueno, ¿y por qué? Pues si sí, este se dice así y este se dice así, pero ¿por qué? Pues, ok, then. Mi mejor consejo es que para aprenderse at, in y on, es que no piense de más. Piense lo que está enfrente de usted, ¿ok? And the information is that you use at when you say at the corner. You are pointing a place, right? At the corner. Where are we meeting? At the corner. Where, uh, yes, we do we turn? Uh, at the corner, okay? Where do we cross the street? At the corner, okay? It's a point, a specific point. It's a place, but a very specific location. When we talk about the bus stop, we use at, we don't say on, because it's at. You meet the bus or you wait for the bus in a place. So we use at the bus stop, at the bus stop, at the door, uh, at the door, at the door, at the top of the page, at the top of the page. This is what we use, you, 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 we, I'm sorry. This is what we usually do when we scroll up, okay? Cuando hacemos para arriba, por ejemplo, con el mouse, ¿verdad? At the top of the page, hasta arriba de la página, okay? At the top, top es arriba, la parte más alta de algo. At the top of the page. At the end of the road. Road es calle, pero calle como carretera, okay? At the end of the road, o el camino también es road. Carretera, camino, road. At the entrance, where are we meeting? At the entrance, okay? Uh, at the crossroads, at the crossroads, where you have La Cruz Calle, right? Oops, what happened? Did you see that? I have not enough illumination, maybe. Okay, I apologize. Okay, then at the crossroads. At the front desk, it's a specific point, it's a specific place. For example, at Punto Seguro, we would say at Punto Seguro, okay? At uh, the doctor's clinic, okay? At my a, let's say at my workplace, okay? It's a specific place. Even though we use in also with some enclosure places, we use at as indicating the location of the place, okay? So in is used for enclosed space in the garden. It's a specific place, but Mm, it's rounded maybe with a wall or mm, um, fence, right? So it's an enclosed space. It, space. It's not that it is closed. It's a specific place that it has limits, all right? In the garden. In London, if you go out of London, it's not London anymore. So that is why it's an enclosed space in London. And France. So with countries, we use in, right? In France, in El Salvador, in Guatemala, in Costa Rica, okay? In a box, in a box, inside the box, right? You put your gifts in a box. You wrap your gifts in a box, in a bag, okay? In a bag, too. 
in my pocket, okay? In my pocket, the money is in my pocket. And my wallet, my documents, because maybe you don't, well, I don't have money for my wallet, but yeah, my documents are in my wallet, right? In my wallet. In a building, in a building, in a car, in a car, on is a surface, on the wall, on the ceiling, on the door. The ceiling, okay, arriba, ¿verdad? En el cielo, ¿sí? De su casa, el cielo falso, el techo, okay, en el techo. On the door, on the cover, so en la cubierta, right? On the floor, on the carpet, en la alfombra, right? On the menu, en el menú. On a page, en una página. Okay, so let's continue, guys, because we need to get to see how this work, how this work. In a city, we have different places. So let's go to the page number 39. Page number 39. <laughs> Ok, ubiquemos entonces ahorita nuestro lugar de trabajo. Y yo le pregunto a usted, where do you work? Ok, ¿cómo respondería con in? ¿Cómo respondería con at? ¿Y cómo respondería con on? Vamos a ver, intentemos. Vamos a ver todos. Intentando, haciendo tres oracioncitas en el chat. Y nos vamos a ir al manual en la página 39 despuesito. Concluyamos ahí. Let's make a conclusion. Okay. I work in, I would say, the city, the department, the unit I work in. Okay. I work in... Hmm? Very good, Isabel. Yes. Very good, Carlos Edgardo. Yes, Alma. Mm -hmm. Good, Jacqueline. Solo que ahí en el nombre de la compañía, the company name, Jacqueline, sería at. Ok, cuando decimos el company name, entonces sería at. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's the address. Okay, Fernando. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Alma. Mm -hmm. Good, Fernando.
Fernando, en la primera que me puso, the address, the kilometer 45 and a half street, you have to say on. I work on a, the 45 kilometer, uh, I'm sorry, the 45 and a half kilometer street. Hmm? Kilometer. Thank you. Okay, it's on mm -hmm. because it's a street. Yes, I work at Barkenell Brothers. Great. Okay. I work in a school. Yes. I work at, okay. Oh, nice, Isabel. Very good. I loved how you say that, Don Chicken. Yeah, nice. <laughs> very creative, very creative. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yay. I work at Beauty Experts. Yes. Uh -huh. Alejandro, you have to say, I work in a mall. Okay. I work in a mall. A mall. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So now let's go and see in the... Manual on your page number 39, okay? On the manual on the page number 39. Teacher. Okay. Eh, si yo quiero decir, eh, mi trabajo es en la calle, en de campo, entonces, ¿cómo puedo decir cuando, para referirme a un lugar específico donde yo trabajo? Mm, I would say on the street, outdoors, Outdoors, I'll I just guess. give me one oh. second. Okay, give me just one second. Okay. Teacher, tell um, me. I work on Don Chicken. También se puede decir I work on Don Chicken. Uh, no, that's at. Mm -hmm. That is at. That is at. Okay. Not on. Mm -mm. Pero el nombre de la compañía normalmente no se traduce, Isabel, ¿ok? Usted puede okay. decir el nombre de la compañía tal como es en, el, en español, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a ver que acá tenemos que la idea de esta clase o el objetivo es to describe the location of my and others' workplace. Vamos a describir la ubicación de mi lugar de trabajo y el lugar de trabajo de los demás o de otras personas. Entonces, hemos comenzado preguntando, ¿verdad? Where do you work? And you said um, how, I mean, some sentences using in, at, and on. So, um, then uh, we want to mention where our workplace is, okay, located is it I mean, i'm sorry this place is located all right just give me one moment and i will sh i will look for the word mm -hmm. Yeah, but there is another word, Alma. Eh, bueno, cuando nosotros nos referimos, por ejemplo, a la calle como tal, calle, ¿verdad? Calle, eh, sería on the street, ¿sí? Y esa es como la frase para decir en la calle, ¿verdad? On the street. Pero no necesariamente on the street, eh, como vendiendo pupusas, ¿verdad? Uno dice on the street. O okay. selling vegetables on the street. Um, uh -huh. Estoy tratando de encontrarle una frase porque el trabajo de campo en realidad se llama field work. Again, okay, like this. Le voy a poner por acá. Field. Ajá. Uh -huh. Work. Uh -huh. 
Que quisiéramos decir sobre, sobre la calle. On the street. Yes. Pero on the street. como que está en un solo lugar en la calle. Suena mm -hmm. así. Mm -hmm. No, I think there is another place, uh, another word to say that you visit uh, place, uh, different Ambulan places. Trabaja no solo en un solo lugar, sino en la calle. O sea, mm -hmm. en bastantes lugares. Ambulante. Caminando. Um, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like a peasant, but mm, not exactly. I'm looking for one word, and I know that I'm going to find that word out because it's, mm, for example, when you say, bueno, existe otra palabra que es outdoors. Lo que no estoy segura es que si es aplicable a no trabajar dentro de la oficina, sino que andar de lugar en lugar, porque outdoors en realidad significa eh, que yo trabajo en un lugar sin paredes, ¿verdad? O sea, puede ser como en un lugar amplio, afuera de una oficina. Pero no sé si se aplica a esa. Y tengo que confirmarse la alma, ¿ok? Ok, ajá. Voy a buscar la palabra que me dice Isabel ahorita, porque de esa podría tomar... Itinerant, yeah, itinerant, uh huh, like um, itinerant, uh huh. Can you apply house or house? House by house, house by house. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a, it's applicable. Yeah, it's applicable. But I was looking for a specific thing that explains everything that we do in our culture. Okay, lo que significa en nuestra cultura, right? But I was just trying to look it up. But it's okay. You can say, for example, itinerant. I, allow me just to look for... Aunque dependiendo de qué es el trabajo, también así se puede ponerle nombre. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, but an itinerant, an itinerant, I think that's the best word. Itinerant uh, worker, okay? Worker. Uh -huh. I'm an itinerant worker. A ver, busquémoslo ya así, a ver si se traduce de la misma manera que lo estoy pensando. Okay. <laughs> okay. Como por ejemplo las promotoras de salud andan así en la calle. Yes, they are promoting things, yeah, uh -huh, like communicating messages and everything. Yes, you're right. Uh -huh. But, um, fíjense que no me lo traduce exactamente igual como yo deseaba. Sí. Pero por ahí va, por ahí va. Mm, no. Mm. Uh -huh. With no fixed address. Uh -huh. Okay, then, yes, it is okay. An eternal worker is a person, le vamos a definir algo así, is a person, digamos, with no fixed address. Okay, address of a uh, workplace. Okay, no tiene un lugar definido de trabajo, right? It has a lot of places and it works out there, right? So, yes. Mm -hmm. 
I think we find found it out. Even though I will uh, confirm it, all right? Bien. Okay, then. Let's look at this map. We have a map of, a, a, let's say, um, a common city, okay? This might be any city. What places are there in the city? Bank, sport palace, school, mall, park, church, city hall, restaurant, arrows company, book, world. A ver, pensemos entonces, ¿qué lugares hay en este mapa? What places do you see in this map? Bank. Bank. Sport Palace. palace. Sur. School. Mall. Mall. Park. 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 Star. Star. City Hall. City Hall. Restaurant. Restaurant. Arrow Arrow company. company. Book, world. Book world. Book world. Okay, and then we have street, street, avenue, avenue. So let's count. Barrio Street, Roosevelt Street, First Avenue, Second Avenue. So maybe this one is the first, I'm sorry, the Third Avenue, right? And then this is... The mall is on the first avenue, right? The mall is on the first avenue. Where is the bank? Where is the bank? Between Barrio Street and First Avenue. Mm, okay, the bank? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, con las que acabamos de aprender, ¿verdad? Tenemos in, tenemos on, tenemos at. ¿Ok? Si nos pone, siempre para poder decir un lugar en un mapa, tenemos que tener un punto de referencia, a reference point, ¿verdad? En este caso, muy bien que me dijo dos lugares, ¿verdad? Me dijo barrio, street y no recuerdo si me dijo mo. ¿Ok? But this is not between. If you see, there is a corner right here. It might be a corner, but we're not talking about that at this moment. Okay. Where is the bank? The bank is on. Avenue. And. Um, Barrio, Barrio Street. Street. Mm hmm in English, we have to say this barrios, okay, barrios. This is Barrio Street. So, where is the bank? The bank is on the First Avenue and Barrio Street, okay? Where is the mall? Where is the mall? The mall is on the First Avenue, okay? The mall is on... The first avenue, all right? Uh -huh. Now, let's think about the restaurant. Where is the restaurant? Uh, on First Avenue. Avenue. And Street. Very good, very good. So in, on, at. Remember, on avenues, on streets okay now we've got other other kind of prepositions it's not only in or not we have another ones okay so we will say for example Okay. 
Vale. Tenemos otras preposiciones. We've got different other prepositions. Las vamos a ver en unas oraciones, ¿ok? We're going to see them in some sentences. And then we are going to go back to the in or not, ¿ok? The first one says, We waited in the line, ¿ok? We waited in the line. I will open... Okay. Oh my goodness, why cannot I open this? Okay, here it is. It says, we waited in the line, in the line, okay? It's an enclosed, enclosed, enclosed place because there is no line over there. There is no line over there. The line is right here. It has only one direction, right? The river flows between. Oh, there is another one. Between the two cities. Okay. The car is by, by the parking. I sat on, right? On the elephant <laughs> for the first time. Children were playing at the school. It's uh, at a specific place, right? At, at the school. The cat is hidden in the room, in the room, enclosed short place. The guard was standing at the entrance. The cat was falling down under the table, right? Under the table. Under the table. The parade was on the way. The parade was on the way. On the street, right? On the street, because on this file, parade, but sobre la calle, right? ¿no? We met them in Italy. We met them in Italy. It's a country, so we use in. Okay, then. Bien, pensemos entonces nosotros en algunas preposiciones, ¿sí? Some prepositions. Vamos a ver. Digamos con nuestras manos, okay, with our hands. This is a spider, okay? This is a spider. Everybody, I want to see your spider. Spider. Una arañita, right? A spider. This is the spider. Where is the spider? This is the house of the spider. So the spider is in the house. The spider is in the house. In the house, right? Where is the spider? The spider is in the house. Now, this is the house of the spider, right? Where is the spider? The spider is on the house, right? The spider is on the house, right? I want to see your hands. In the house, on the house. Where is the spider? The spider is in the house. Where is the spider? The spider is the spider. on the house. On the house. Very good. Uh -huh. Where is the spider? Where is the uh, spider? By. The spider is by the house. Podríamos decir next to, que sería también, ¿verdad? Next to, está a la parte. Next to, también beside, también es a la parte. Entonces tenemos ahí, miren, in, on, ok, by, next to, beside okay and then where is the spider where is the spider the spider is, is under, the house. under yes under. the spider is under, under under the house yes exactly vamos a aprender solo cuatro ahorita con esto okay 
Vamos a aprender solamente ahorita. In, on, under, and by. ¿Ok? In, on, under, by. Quiero ver esas manos. I want to see your hands. Where is the spider? In. In. Where is the spider? On. Um, Where is the spider? Under. Where is the spider? Bye. 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 Okay, yeah. Bye. Tenemos otras, okay. Ahorita aprendimos cuatro, ¿sí? Tenemos otras. Pero ahorita vamos a divertirnos un ratito. Vamos a ver si es cierto, pues. A nosotros nos gustan las cancioncitas, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿Las rimas? Do you like rhymes? Yay, yay, please. Ok, where is the spider? Uh -huh. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. Where is the spider? Ok, everybody. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by, where is the spider? I want to see your, your hands. Quiero ver todas sus manos. A ver. Ustedes solitos. Yo solo lo voy a cantar y ustedes lo van a hacer. Ok, you do the mimics. In, on, under, by, in, on, under, by, in, on, under, by, where is the spider? Aha, got you guys. Okay, what's it? In, on, under, by, in, on, under, by, in, on, under, by, where is the spider? A little faster, okay? A little faster. Can you do it faster? I think, yes, you can do it, okay? In, on, under, by, in, on, under, by, in, on, under, by, where is the spider? In, on, under, by, in, on, under, by, in, on, under, by, where is the spider? Bye. Vamos a ver. Can you do it faster? A ver, yo creo que Fernando Noel puede hacerlo más rápido, ¿verdad? Can you do it faster? Faster, faster, okay? In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. Where is the spider? Oh. Okay. Faster, faster. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. Where is the spider? Again. Faster. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. Where is the spider? <laughs> Yay. Okay. This is just to remember these four positions, okay? Because these are positions or locations, right? Where is the spider? The spider is in. Where is the spider? The spider is on. Where is the spider? The spider is under. Where is the spider? The spider is by. A ver, Alma, diríjanos la cancioncita y nosotros vamos a hacer las mímicas, okay? We are going to do the mimics. Everybody, everybody move. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, no me perdí. <laughs> Isabel, Isabel, vamos Isabel, you can do it, ajá. Okay, voy a intentarlo. Okay, go ahead. Everybody, moving your hands. In, under, under, bar, in, the... <laughs> lo siento. It's okay, it's good, it's good Isabel, lo hizo muy bien, you did it very good. A ver, diríjanos Fernando Enrique, lead the song. Ajá, everybody doing the mimics. Okay, in or under by, in or under by, in or under by. <laughs> Yay! Uh, very good, Fernando. Yes, yes, yes. Va. La última vez. ¿eh? <laughs> es que ya haciéndolo y cantándolo, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Que no es fácil. It's not easy. Pero ya van a ver que ya en dos días ustedes ya van a andar cantando bien, ¿ok? Y a todos le van a hacer in and under by, in and under by. All right. So, everybody, move your hands, ¿ok? Mimics. 
in an under by in on under by in on under by where is the spider in an under by in an under by in an under by where is the spider in an under by in an under by in on under by where is the spider yay we did it so now we know four prepositions okay these are locations right in on under and by now let's think about this spider behind okay behind so this is the house of the spider so if you put right um, in the back it's behind okay the spider is behind the house the spider is behind the house but we have another one the spider is in front of the house okay in front of the house this is in front okay in front of the house mm -hmm. yeah behind in front of behind in front of what about between i am the spider and between my face is right between my hands in the middle between okay between so now we will say for example i have this thing right here okay this is a circle so i go through okay i put through Okay, a través de, through, all right? Through, T-H-R-O-U-G-H, through, a través de. Later, we are going to see this, how, I mean, the spelling of these words. But at this moment, we have another, across. When you pass through a street or on the street from one place to the other place in front of, you go across the street across the street okay y fíjense que tenemos una eh, que para nosotros en nuestro idioma tal vez uh, sería nosotros decimos y ese subiendo o bajando decimos nosotros verdad cuando vamos manejando eh, mira y eso en dónde está está subiendo o está bajando sí Entonces, eso es up the street and down the street, okay? Up the street, down the street, okay? Up the street, down the street, all right? Okay, vamos a ver entonces, nos vamos a ir a... Porque existen otras frases con in, on y con at, que es lo más importante que estamos viendo el día de hoy. Diferenciar un poco in, on y at, ¿verdad? Que para nosotros todos significan en, ¿verdad? Todos es en, ¿ya? Yeah. En la mesa, ¿ya? Yeah. Decimos, por ejemplo, mmm, en la calle, ¿sí? Son dos muy diferentes. On the table. Puede ser um, en la esquina, por ejemplo, at the corner, ¿ya? Yeah? On the street, on the avenue. Ok, vamos entonces al manual así rapidito a ver el, el mapa de regreso. Nos vamos a ubicar. We are going to locate. Ok, bank, mall, restaurant. They are in the same block, if you see, right? ¿Qué es una block? A ver, ¿alguien conoce esta palabra? Block in the city. Era como, como una manzana. Eh, la cuadra, la cuadra. Uh -huh. Lo que nosotros llamamos cuadra, it's a block. Ajá. Y cuando decimos una, una cuadra o dos cuadras, one block. Uh -huh. Puede ser a block. And then we count two blocks. 
in plural, okay? Three blocks, five blocks, six blocks, okay? Mire, de aquí tiene que caminar como ocho cuadras para allá arriba hasta llegar al mercado central y después cruza. Decir eso es lo que tenemos que retarnos y aprender, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a ver por acá. Ya tenemos otra palabra, ¿verdad? Block. Uh -huh. Veamos. Aprendamos a decir which street is the restaurant on. ¿Verdad que aquí no dice where? ¿Verdad que no dice where? Estamos usando preguntas con which. Miren, which street. Ah, ¿por qué? Porque existen opciones, ¿verdad? Existen otras calles. Entonces decimos which street is the restaurant, which street is the city hall, which street is the park. What is the city hall? What is the city hall? You know what the city hall is? ¿Qué será el city hall? Significa alcaldía. yes, alcaldía, ¿ok? La alcaldía municipal. Entonces, which street is the restaurant on? Vamos a ver which street is the restaurant on. Vamos a ver en el mapa. On Second Avenue mm -hmm. and Roosevelt Street. Ok, where is the restaurant? The restaurant is right here, ¿ok? And they are asking which street is the restaurant on. The street is this one, right? So, yes, hagamos la oración completa para contestar la pregunta, ¿sí? Para contestar la pregunta vamos a decir subject, verb, and complement. Remember, subject, yes. verb, and complement. Mm -hmm. the, the restaurant is on. Roosevelt Street and Pierce Avenue. Exactly. The restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Ok, the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. ¿Por qué solo pongo la calle? Porque es lo que me están preguntando, ¿verdad? Which street is the restaurant on? Miren dónde va la preposición. Aquí no ponemos on which street. Mm -mm. On va a ir al final. Esa es la forma gramatical de escribirlo, así que aprendamos eso, ¿ok? Which street is the restaurant on? ¿Verdad? Notemos que no va al principio la preposición. Nosotros en español si decimos, mira, ¿y en cuál calle está? ¿En cuál calle está? No. Aquí es, ¿cuál calle está el restaurante en? Así sería literalmente, ¿verdad? Pero para nosotros es en cuál restaurante. Eh, eh, perdón, ¿en cuál calle está el restaurante? Ok. Number two. Y es Street. Yes. Ajá. Miren. Roosevelt Street. En la Roosevelt Street. También puede ser on Second Avenue. Ah. Una de las cosas es que normalmente nosotros, aparte del punto de referencia para dar una, una dirección o una locación, ¿verdad? Que nosotros normalmente decimos, mira, ¿y dónde queda tal cosa? ¿Y en dónde está vos? ¿Verdad? Para ubicarte desde donde tú estás. Ese sería un punto. El otro punto es para dónde está la entrada de este, de este establecimiento, ¿verdad? ¿Para dónde queda the entrance? Where is the entrance of the city hall? Right here, if we say, or right here. Well, actually, we don't know, right? But in this case, think about the entrance. If the entrance is in Roosevelt Street, then we will say the city hall is on the Roosevelt Street. If the, uh, the entrance of the city hall is on the 2nd Avenue, then we will say the city hall is on the 2nd Avenue, all right?
Okay. Number three. Está rodeado de calle y se tienen que decir todas las calles. Mhm, mhm. Vale. Acuérdense cómo era between, ¿verdad? Between es entre dos cosas. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, between Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street, that works, okay? Which street is the park on? Well, the park is uh -huh. on. Es, aquí sería is between. Ajá. Uh -huh. between. between, let's say the two streets we've got there. Barrios. En mm -hmm. Roosevelt Street. En Roosevelt Street, ¿ok? Ahí podríamos decir entre esta y esta, ¿verdad? Pero, ¿qué tal si estamos ubicados, por ejemplo, en el City Hall? Mm, está entre esta y esta. Ok, también podríamos hacerlo, ¿verdad? The park is between... Uh -huh. The First Avenue and the Second Avenue. Pero existe otra, ¿ok? Existe otra. Esta, aprendámosla, se dice among, ¿ok? Among, ¿ya? Yeah? Among significa en medio de o rodeado de, ok, among, for example, mm, the forest, mm, think about a forest, ok, and the river is among the trees, yeah, it's among the trees, lo rodean los árboles, ¿sí? en este caso, the park is among the first and second avenue and Roosevelt and Barrio Street, ¿Ok? También podríamos decirlo con among. ¿Ok? ¿Se comprende? Entonces, ¿de qué va a depender cómo vamos a dar las direcciones? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y bueno, en el caso de, de Park, quiero, quisiéramos decir un poco más, tener un, algo de referencia, uh -huh. uh, por decir, frente a Shore o frente a, a City Hall, ¿se puede? Yes, of course, of course. Sí, lo que pasa es que ahorita, pues como estábamos aprendiendo cuatro, pero sí, es perfecto su... Eh, su... Eh, pensamiento, permítame solo déjenme entrar aquí para cerrar este y tengo que entrar acá sí, among eh, usted me dice in front of ok, in front of ok, the park is in front of the city hall and, and the church, right mm -hmm. yeah it's in front of the church and the city hall pero también acordémonos que para arriba hay otros lugares, ¿ok? Para arriba hay otros lugares, ¿sí? Por eso va a depender de la ubicación del que está pidiendo la dirección, ¿verdad? O que lo ubiquen en donde está. It's going to depend on the location. So, your location is going to be the point of reference, right? And Uber, they call it the pickup point, right? <laughs> okay, the pickup point. Okay, then your location. And actually, this will be a point of reference. A point of reference. 
So we need to consider your location and a point of reference. Okay. The entrance. Yeah. The entrance of the places. Because if the restaurant has the entrance right on the first avenue, then I will say on the first avenue, even though it is on the Roosevelt Street too, right? So uh, the entrance of the public place, right? The entrance of the public place. So let's imagine. It's going to depend on your location, on a point of reference, or on the entrance of the public place. Okay? So, how do we call a book world? ¿Qué será una book world? ¿Qué será esta, esto que dice book world? Biblioteca. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Two words. Library. Bookshop. Library is the place where you go to study or to do research. Okay, donde usted va a hacer investigaciones es una biblioteca, it's a library. A bookshop is the place where you buy books, okay? Where you buy books. Donde usted compra libros, se llama librería, it's a bookshop. Okay, then, uh, let's see. Sport Palace. What do you think it's the Sport Palace? Como el que nosotros le llamamos polideportivo, algo así. Ajá, Palacio de los Deportes, algo así. Uh -huh. But what is that? Está mal la señal. Sería como el gimnasio. Exactly, like a gym. Uh -huh. Like a gym. Or maybe a stadium, okay? Like a, um, a court, like this, court, okay? Como canchas, right? Como court. Sports court, la vamos a poner, porque puede ser para cualquier tipo de deporte, ¿sí? Sports, sport courts. Cualquiera de todos esos podría ser, ¿verdad? Ok. Arrows Company. What could it be? What is that? Arrows Company. Y lo traduce como dice ayer, como que flechas. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> it sounds funny, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Arrow's company. Mm -hmm. What is that? Well, this is the name of the company, right? The company is called Arrow's. Mm -hmm. So it could be a retail store. Mm hmm it could be also a warehouse or a, a, a hardware store, okay? Así, vamos a poner estos nombres como para que ustedes amplíen vocabulario, okay? Hardware store es una ferretería, okay? Digamos, okay? Hardware store es ferretería. Okay, then hardware store. Puede ser a retail store, un almacén. Retail store es un almacén, ¿ok? okay. Or just a store. Mm -hmm. 
and the mall, right? The mall is the shopping mall. All right. Is there any question so far? Is there any question so far? No? Okay, then. Let's go to this bar. How to use... Simple prepositions of place. Solo estamos viendo on, in, and at. Okay. Vamos a ver. Ya sabemos que on is a surface, right? Uh, in is an enclosure place, and at is when we point a place. Uh -huh. Okay, then. Vamos a ver. Por ahí tenemos estas. Uh -huh. And these are some lists of examples. Okay. Yeah. So, complete the location of each item using the correct preposition of place. Uh -huh. A ver, ingresemos en number one. Let's complete it. <laughs> yes, because look on 4th Avenue on 1st Avenue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm -hmm. But in this one, we need add the at the training room we need the look at the meeting room at the cafeteria yeah so we need the at the training room same thing that we are in at Este ya no necesita, ok. Ajá, no. uh -huh. because it's ads right there. <laughs> yeah, aquí se fueron en la cascarita, ¿verdad? Ok, no worries. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Uh, yes, ajá. Uh -huh. We don't need anything else. We just say at the meeting room with everybody. Ok. Vamos a leerlas, ok? Let's read them all. Ok, that is on. Let's read the first one. I work in the uh, bank. I work, I work in the bank. That is on 1st Avenue. And Barrio Street. Barrio Street. Okay, let's read it in a regular speed. I work in the bank that is on First Avenue and Barrio Street. Con un solo aire, vamos. I work in the bank that is on First Avenue and Barrio Street. Very good. Number two, their factory is located in. La Libertad. In La Libertad. In La Libertad. Okay, number three. We see you at 
Mm -hmm. okay. at, at, the at the training room. At the training room or at the cafeteria. 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 Mm -hmm. So we see you at the training room or at the cafeteria. Now it's your turn. You at the training room or at the cafeteria. Very good. Volvamos a decir pero en orden y haciendo unión de todas las palabras. We see you at the training room or at the cafeteria. We see you at the training room or at the cafeteria. Yes. Number four. Anna work. Anna work in town. In town. In town. Anna works in the company that is in town. Regular speed. Anna works in the company that is in town. Anna works in the company that is in town. Very good. My relatives go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. My relative go to the mall that is on the street. Okay, leamos lo palabra por palabra. My relatives go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. Regular speed. My relatives go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. My relatives go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. Okay, number six. Tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Tell we are at the meeting room. Okay, vamos palabra por palabra, word by word. Tell him that we are at the meeting room with with every. Body. Okay, in regular speed, tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Everybody? We are at the meeting room with everybody. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Is there any questions so far? Questions? Okay. Allow me to get here. Okay, I will send you a link. Okay. And this is just for fun. All right. This is just for fun. So here we go. You have to use a pencil, all right? A pencil, an online pencil, okay? Then you have to match. You have to match the image with the word, okay? There are others that we didn't see right here, but you know them, okay? So let's see. Movie theater, bakery, supermarket. A ver, digámoslas todas. Movie theater. Movie theater. theater. Movie theater. Movie theater. Ajá, cuando veamos la TH, saquemos la lengua así y soplamos. Theater. theater. Mm -hmm. sure. Bakery. Bakery. Supermarket. Supermarket. Bank. 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 School. School. Bus stop. Bus stop. Fire station. 
Prime Bar Station. Restaurant. Restaurant. Hospital. Hospital. Library. Library. Museum. Museum. Park. Park. Police office. Ajá, y en la police office también lo conocemos como police station. Ok, police station or police office is the same. Post office. Post office. Post office. Ok, ahora ustedes desen gusto ahí uniendo. Vamos a ver. This is just for fun. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Is he? Uh-huh. Is it easy? <laughs> the bus stop is kind of difficult, right? <laughs> okay. is at the bottom you will find kind of difficult to match with those at the top right mm -hmm. yeah. those at the top of the list mm -hmm. <laughs> okay Okay, people, when you finish, please uh, send the evidence to the WhatsApp group, okay? Send the evidence to the WhatsApp group.
Vaya, vale, ahorita voy a tomar la asistencia. Ok. I will do the... I will take the attendance. So please everybody turn your camera on and when I call your name, please say present. Y yo que los iba a poner a cantar la cancioncita cada uno con la lista, hombre. Sí, Ajá. Luego podemos mandar lo, lo de la actividad, ¿verdad? Es que no me deja, me estresa un poco ver que no me deja sacar la rayita y poner. Comprendo, Débora. It's okay. It's okay. You can do it later. Lo mando después, sí. Yes, you can do it later. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Okay, people, please get ready. I'm going to call the roll. And remember to do your homework. If you haven't done it, please do your homework and work in advance in your uh, final exam. Okay. Ana Yamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Francisco Alfaro de León. Present teacher. Okay. Débora Yamilet Campos Cortés. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Present teacher. Gabriela Lisette Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Jacqueline Lisette Martínez de Vázquez. Present teacher. José Antonio Campos Rivas. Marcos Alejandro Coreas Reales. Present. Ok, María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Mirna Beatriz Avilés Iraeta. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Ok, Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Present teacher. Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Ok, Mirna didn't connect today either, right? Okay, people, then I sent um, a video before, well, no, it was a worksheet, okay? I sent a worksheet for you to practice the time, okay? I don't know if you did it. No sé si hicieron esa worksheet que les mandé. ¿Se divirtieron escuchando las horas? Les recomiendo para que aprendan okay. esa otra forma, ¿verdad? La manera completa de decir el, la hora, okay? Ahí se los mandé. Aquí lo, lo resolvimos con Stephanie, ¿ok? Así que si ustedes quieren hacerla viendo cómo lo hizo Stephanie, entonces ustedes pueden ir a la, al video del día de ayer, ¿verdad? Para que puedan eh, practicar cómo decir la hora. How to tell the time. Ahora entonces le tocaría a Verónica Beatriz, Celso de Saldaña, sus 10 minutos, ¿ok? Veronica, are you able to stay after the class? Maybe she's working, right? I think she's working. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, she didn't send any text today. Okay. Is there anyone who wants to stay for solving any doubt? That alguien se quisiera quedar el día de hoy? Hoy hay tamalitos pisques. El que quiera tamalitos pisques, vamos a comer con un vaso de horchata. Vamos a ver. ¡Ajá! Ya se despertaron todos. ¿ve? Así que con salsita rica. Bueno. A ver. Ah, sí, Fernando. It's okay. Usted se quiere quedar. Perfecto. Ok, people. Then have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Do your homework. Bye, bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, here we are, Fernando. Is there anything that I can help you with? You're muted.
You are mute. Eh, yeah, there you are. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, este, bueno, uh, sí he en, entendido ya, voy prosperando un poquito mejor de, la, de lo que he visto. Este, um, me ha sido un poquito más fácil entender sobre esto de la, con una clase creo que entendí más o menos. Eh, le iba a pedir delante de los otros compañeros que si me podría o nos podría mandar la imagen, que me, la vi bastante interesante, eh, donde está act of, act, Está in, on y at. Ah, ok, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, claro este, que sí. Este. Of course. Estaba buscando la manera, pero como a veces cuesta, ¿verdad? Don't como worry, cuesta, don't ¿verdad? worry. Ajá, sí, pero sientas en confianza siempre, ¿ok? No hay ningún problema. Ok. Lo más que le puedo decir es que fíjese que se ha trabado o es que no, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso no, esto es material para ustedes, ¿ok? Uh -huh. so, eh, y este es el otro, este es el otro que vamos a continuar viendo mañana, tomorrow. So I will send it right now. Porque mmm, prácticamente es lo mismo, solo que son otras frases, como extendiendo el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Ahorita se lo paso. Siempre con in, on, at, la forma más fácil es aprender con qué palabra va, ¿ok? Porque la verdad que a veces uno dice, sí, pero es un lugar cerrado, pero ¿por qué decimos at, verdad? O ¿por qué decimos in? Bueno, sometimes there is, no, there is no answer. A veces no hay una respuesta, sino que es por el uso, ¿verdad? O por la costumbre social, o porque antes sucedió algo y según la cultura quedó de esa manera, pero ahora ha cambiado y no se cambió la frase, ¿sí? Así como nos pasa en español, ¿verdad? Igualito. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. El enlace es que, me piden ahí. De alguna ahí. manera a veces uh -huh. eso confunde un poquito el, el momento de querer pronunciar, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. ¿Verdad? En frente o so, sobre, ¿verdad? El, el juego de la, de la mano estuvo divertido, y, pero se aprende, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Así que... Sí, es para que no nos durmamos. <ríe> es para que no nos sí. durmamos, porque imagínese si yo le digo solo, bueno, in es adentro. Ah, ok, pero me duermo <risa> on es encima ok ¿Verdad? no como hey la spider verdad y ya ah. se buscando dónde está la spider right so yeah that is why <risa> ya con eso ajá despierta <risa> exacto exacto ajá y pero sí se le quedó sí 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 la verdad que sí tratando de, de aprender un poquito de jugando y todo se aprende <risa> ok yeah. ahí les voy a mandar la cancioncita la real porque a la real pues tiene otras otras cuestiones, pero aquí solo necesitábamos esas cuatro, ¿verdad? Entonces ya no le metí lo demás, pero sí es importante ex ir expandiendo, ¿verdad? Ahorita ya se aprendió cuatro, mañana va a aprender otras cuatro, pasado mañana otras cuatro y así va, ¿verdad? Expandiendo hasta que llega el momento en que yo ya me puedo a las 16, o sea, ya me puedo a las 20 cosas. Entonces, yo creo que la, la forma es ir eh, como gotita por gotita, ¿verdad? Pero que cada gotita cuente, ¿verdad? Que cada gotita cuente. Por ejemplo, cuando estructuramos una oración, mi estrategia o el, la metodología que vamos acá es que primero vemos el vocabulario, ¿verdad? cada parte por separado y después unimos y le damos el sentido para que se interiorice el significado, ¿verdad? Comparamos okay. también a veces con el español o con nuestra cultura, ¿verdad? Porque no es lo mismo decirle, hey, mira, vos en cuál usted vas, ¿verdad? Es muy diferente y, y ese es un, un español nativo, ¿verdad? Okay. Un, un español avanzado, avanzadísimo. ¿Cómo le preguntaríamos eso? A alguien en inglés. No le podemos decir, hey, ¿en cuál bus te vas, bo? O sea, no. Hay que estructurarlo en el orden que ellos lo usan. Entonces, vemos que la WH va primero, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Which, ah, which bus. Ah, el bus, ¿verdad? Which bus, ¿cuál bus? Y así vamos armándolo, ¿verdad? Watch bus, bus, do you Take. Ah, qué bus tú tomas, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, to qué bus tomas? Entonces, no tiene nada que ver como no. Eh, mira, ¿vos en cuál te vas, vos? 
Yeah, different. <risa> Por eso no, comparo esa, yo a veces así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y esa parte también, la, la, el hecho que vamos como que, como usted dice, pues armando, ¿verdad? De repente eh, ya las preguntas, wax, wish, entonces ya vamos viendo esa combinación de, de juego de palabras en el cual creo que algo captamos y vamos, al menos progresivamente tratamos de entender Exactamente, okay. es que uh -huh. mire Fernando, nosotros tenemos eh, cuatro habilidades básicas que debemos desarrollar, entonces por ejemplo si usted al escucharlo lo entiende, yes, si al decirlo lo puede pronunciar y, lo, y, y usted lo puede usar en, el, en, el, en la oración por ejemplo, ya tenemos dos ganadas que sería la pronunciación o el speaking ¿verdad? Y la gramática, la grammar. Ah, ok, entonces de ahí vamos. ¿verdad? Si usted, por ejemplo, leyéndolo, encontró esa palabra, ¿sabe qué significa? Ok, ya lo ganamos. Y si usted sabe el spelling, cómo se escribe, qué letras lleva para formar esa palabra, ya la hicimos las cuatro, ¿verdad? Las cuatro mmm, principales, porque es, no porque podríamos decir que son seis, ¿verdad? Ya con la gramática y con la pronunciación. Pero sí, es importante. Entonces, vamos como partecita por partecita, pero la vemos de cuatro formas. La escuchamos, la escribimos, la usamos, ¿verdad? La leemos y, por último, pues, armamos nuestra propia experiencia al decirlo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para saber usarlo, uh -huh. para sí, darle el, el significado, ¿verdad? Sí, pues, la verdad que, este, pues, de lo como... Recalcando un poquito, este, al menos de las oraciones, las preguntas, este, el hecho de ir aprendiendo los verbos, creo que tal vez en la parte de los verbos quizás eh, quiero que cada quien tenemos que meternos un poquito más de lleno a eso, ¿verdad? Porque sí hay verbos que todavía no sabemos qué dicen, ¿verdad? Entonces nos quedamos ahí como que, que va. Ajá, Entonces... sí, tiene toda la razón. Lo que pasa es que, ¿sabe qué, Fernando? A veces yo pienso... Eh, que nosotros queremos entenderlo todititititititito, ¿ok? Digamos, todito, todito, y pensamos que significa algo literal. Pero no, lo, lo que tenemos que enfocarnos es lo que estamos aprendiendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Lo demás lo va a ir conociendo porque lo va a ir conociendo, pero ahorita lo que importa es lo que estamos viendo. Por ejemplo, eh, estamos viendo las WH, así como usted dice. Ahora ya sabe cuál es where y a dónde va where. Me están preguntando dónde. El qué, dónde, qué, a saber todavía, pero ya sé que es dónde, ¿vea? Eh, por ejemplo, which, ok, me voy a tardar en entender lo demás, pero me están preguntando una opción. Ok, ya, 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 hoy sí. Sí, entonces ubique, ubique como decir, no sé si recuerda que al principio yo les decía que hay un mapita en el, en el eh, manual. No sé si recuerda eso o sí, si estuvo sí, en ese momento. Recuerdo. Entonces, sí. en la página 6 y 7, eh, perdón, sí, 6 y 7, página 6 y 7, usted va a encontrar ese mapita y se puede guiar con lo que le estoy diciendo, ¿verdad? Con la grammar, listening, speaking. Ahorita se lo pongo acá porque estoy llegando ahí a la página 6. ¿Ok? Entonces, si usted logra eso, quiere decir que está apto para ir al siguiente modo. Uh, vamos a ver acá. Mire. Las competencias o los objetivos para alcanzar son estos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en la unidad 1 era hablar acerca de lo que yo hago en mi lugar de trabajo y decir mi ocupación. Talk about what I do at my workplace and to say my occupation. Okay, then we, in the vocabulary, we use supervisor, floor manager, engineer, truck driver, secretary, etc. And we learn the alphabet. We learn the alphabet, okay? Hicimos esto, aprendimos esto, la hicimos, ¿ok? En Unit 1. Todo lo demás, ¿ok? El verbo to be, el presente simple, lo vamos a volver a ver. ¿Por qué? Porque vamos agregando más vocabulario y otros contextos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, en las daily routines, aprendimos job positions and responsibilities of the job position. Por ejemplo, decíamos software engineer, eh, human resources specialist, 
financial analyst, insurance agent y así, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted seguía por esto, yo creo que ha logrado bastante, Fernando. Okay? Okay. Porque todas okay. estas palabras ya las identifica. Todas uh -huh. estas de aquí del vocabulario ya las identifica. Por ejemplo, usted ya se aprendió the days of the week, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, ya se aprendió numbers, ya aprendió the time. Por lo menos ya tiene la idea de cómo era. En la práctica todavía faltan seis módulos más haciendo esto de sí. diferentes maneras y en diferentes y iba, contextos. Le iba, le iba a comentar, eso de los números este, puede ser chistoso, pero de repente hoy en el carro vengo y veo, ah, y ya lo leo en el, en el, en el, en el vocabulario de inglés. Alguno más de alguno todavía me cuesta. Great, sí, yes. Este, pero ahí voy, pa. Entonces, Sí, la verdad ajá, que sí. Ajá. O sea que usted va manejando y lee algo y, y, y ya lo hace sí, en inglés. De, ajá, cabal. Ok, that's good. Sí, ajá. Les agradezco mucho por la enseñanza, la verdad. Qué bueno, me alegra muchísimo escuchar eso que lo está aplicando en su alrededor, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. la verdad que su propio contexto es en donde usted va a encontrar la riqueza del vocabulario que usted necesita. Entonces, dile todito, piénselo usted, ¿cómo se diría eso en inglés? Okay. Ah, eso se dice así en inglés. Y dígalo, repítalo, y dígale a alguien más, eso se dice así, para que no se le olvide a usted. Ok. Ajá. El único día que me cuesta es el día de mañana, como le comenté siempre, ¿verdad? Sí. El día de mañana pues vengo a Salvador y me cuesta un poquito viajar, pero, pero ahí vengo, ahí vengo, ahí vengo, vengo. Ok. Vengo como le hago. Muy bien, y así va a ser también en el, en el otro mes. Y es que lo que pasa es que como estoy siempre asignado al canal 8, a ah, soporte okay. los días miércoles, uh -huh. entonces ya llego, estoy de 8 hasta 6 de la tarde máximo de ahí, va. Y ahí tengo que transcurrirme para San Sonato. Ok, okay. entonces ese es trabajo permanente, así, esa asignación que tiene. Sí, es asignación okay. directa por parte de Agape. Ah, ok, now I know. Uh -huh. <risa> uh -huh. Es cierto, Agape. Ajá, yo lo dije como una foundation, aunque tienen diferentes empresas, ¿verdad? Pero son sin fines de lucro, ok, sí. son foundation. Uh -huh. Ajá, ajá, es lo que pasa es que como de Agape sale el Canal 8, sale el restaurante Doña Laura, sale este, lo que es Insafor el área social, uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, partes que se desglosan de, de él. Ok. Pero siempre por cuestiones de, de qué enseñarle y ayudarle a la gente. Claro. Ajá. Bueno, que me alegra, bueno. Fernando, que, que vamos avanzando, que usted sí. sigue con el interés arriba. Qué bueno. Nunca vaya a renunciar, aunque usted sienta que oh, hoy estoy cansadísimo, hoy no le entendía la clase, no importa, usted lo va a entender viendo el video, usted lo va a entender practicándolo, ¿ok? O en la siguiente clase se le abre el conocimiento, ¿verdad? O sea, se le abre el entendimiento ahí. Entonces, yo creo que quiero animarlo, ¿verdad? Para que usted okay. no vaya a desistir, Gracias. no renuncie, usted dele, aunque le cueste que tenga esas asignaciones, ir como oyente no hay problema, ¿verdad? Media vez usted cumple con las otras asignaciones de hacer la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí, con las actividades y las tareas, ¿verdad? que Exacto. ahí vamos tratando de llevar todo al día, ¿verdad? Exacto, o las, que... las discusiones que ponemos es para como para, es como para expandir, ¿verdad? El, la práctica, más que uh -huh. todo la práctica, y ahí ya está más writing, ¿verdad? Ahí es typing, eh, componer o redactar, ¿verdad? Ya es un poquito distinto. Entonces, es otra práctica que también lo, le animo a que participe para que tenga esa práctica también. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. All right, my okay. pleasure, Fernando. Uh -huh. Gracias. Entonces, ahí estamos. Cualquier cosita y duda, pues ahí le escribo, ¿verdad? Pendiente cualquier cosita. Correct. No problem. I'll be uh, available to your uh, questions. Ok. So, see you then tomorrow. And have a very good night and a very good rest. Okay? See you okay. tomorrow, Fernando. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Tomorrow, teacher. See you. Bye. Bye.